Mixed Dark Seer Double Bristleback. Ouch. Double Bristleback's a huge pain in the ass. Alright, so we got a bad matchup bottom. Neutral matchups everywhere else. This is neutral, not great for us. This is neutral. But that's actively bad. So I just lose Nevermore. Or whatever his name is, not Nevermore. Um, What's his face? Okay. Any opinions on the economy? Economy seems fine. It's free to play. If you're trying to generate cards, it's not it's not set up to help you generate cards by playing free to play. You have to pay for cards in this game if you want them. If you want to own them, own them and build constructed decks. Do I do anything here? I don't think so. Rip my guy. I can match Abaddon up against Bristle. I will have to take the lane somewhere. So, I guess I'm going to deploy there. Game is pay to play. Nope. You have to buy the initial game and then it's free to play. Like what? What is, what is... I never understand Steam with this. Like, this... Steam has shit on so many good games that it shouldn't be and gets so angry about the stupidest shit. What is people's problem with this? Like, why... why this is this is this bugs me a little bit. Why are people worked up about this? All right, so we're gonna live a four. That's fine. He's got two items. I guess presumably he could live as well. I'm gonna play a savage wolf in that lane though. Prices are going to go down as time because of the infinite people. What prices? There's no prices. Oh, you mean the card buying prices? Oh, yeah, maybe. I hate that both my guys are attacking that right now. Watch well, it be a third one attacking too. I don't fear death. You, on the other hand. Ouch. So he survives, does a bunch of damage to me. It's unpleasant. Oh, he didn't survive. I thought he was surviving. Okay, that's fine if he dies. He'll come back. Matchups aren't great at all here. I don't know quite what I'm gonna do about it either. You don't get to cast down there, missing our second black hero. What if I should be running second black hero next so I could actually get black spells out? Lazy people want everything free. I don't know lazy, but definitely feels entitled to some degree. Nasal glue on Abaddon. Not where I wanna be. All right, so lane one is ours, kind of, although the guy that we killed comes back every round and now has armor. You can build that guy to be a massive tank. Just, he, like, death tanks. Does this remove shitty abilities? No. Too bad, I don't want minus two armor. Standard bear makes for really aggressive pushing. It's too bad, it's a good card for him right now. All right, uh, health every turn. Yeah, health every turn. All right, damage in this lane. Some push in that lane. Deployed two top. See if the bounty hunter screws us or not. Doesn't look like he did. Could just intimidate out of the lane. This is probably one of the best ways to deal with this guy. And then teleport him out so he's not dealing with the bounty hunter. So he's gonna be a pain. For 
they're lucky, I'll go to the bottom lane. Nice. Ugh, it's too bad. Could have cloaked first, but the goal was to avoid letting him do anything. cloak this round the question is where so probably he pushes Abaddon back or uh, pushes bristle into this lane I think I'm gonna need help from this guy uh, okay. yes. Decent play though if he does that. Depends if he also does damage to Enchantress or not. Yeah, he did. They never saw this coming. Right. So so far as predicted. So I guess Heartstopper Aura Abaddon. And then he dies uh, on upkeep. Lose our green hero. Still get good damage on. Can set up for discipline disciple next turn or even double disciple next turn. And then I can redeploy Enchantress to top. That seems pretty good. Fifteen seconds remaining. Oh, it's a black hero. Fuck. Oh. Well, that leaves less good ones. You just disciple this turn. Five seconds remaining. Three. See how your army grows stronger. I don't think so. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. Dagger is quite good. I need health though. Can I have four to blink dagger. It's so good for us though. Fifteen seconds remaining. I'm gonna take it. Let's just reposition to top to kill it. After dealing with this, two creeps bottom for stallings. All right, I guess. So we'll get mid this round and then reposition. I need mid to reposition this round, depending on what we have there. So this is unfortunate for us. Our wolf dying to the, uh, wolf killing the creep and then dying to the bounty hunter. Can slay for some more damage on the tower. And we have black mana. I don't think uh, my worm is gonna survive. Bristle back this round, but we'll see. The hunt is yeah, it looks pretty unpromising. I don't really want to give him 10 bucks either. Still okay with this, I think. Let's see what else he does. I want to react. Okay, let's use another target, but still in the same position right now. I'm ready to prove myself. Sure. Ah, 
doing it. Killed the unit. It's annoying. I think I'm on the Heartstopper play right now, but I might be slaying the summon in a moment too. I'm gonna be unstoppable. Yeah. I think it's fine with that. Okay. So for us, we're going to do damage here. I want to uh, Verdant Refuge up there and teleport away. Six damage is fine, so I can remove uh, move um, Abaddon. Right, six would still be 21. Moving six should be good. Our enemies will win. All right, looks good. So we gotta kill top tower now with whoever we get to deploy. Scroll is not even bad. I would have preferred the plus four health, but it's fine for me to play with that. Everybody top. He could deploy this guy bottom and kick it, kick some of his guys top. I think getting this guy out of this lane is going to be very valuable for my opponent. Good mana this turn too. We can Verdant Refuge plus Defend the Weak seems pretty good. Help deal with some of this negative armor. So he's got an Assassin's Hood on the Bounty Hunter. We have to be aware of that before we activate abilities. Don't have Defend the Weak on anybody apparently. Field advantage is annoying, but it doesn't trigger this turn. I want that. Enjoy nature's bounty. Could actually deploy the defend the weak here. Keep everybody alive. But just target. He'll change his target with bunny hunter. He's gonna do that anyways here. And teleport her out as well. Then I am the money. We have to look after each other. Not even bad that it passed in. I would have preferred, I think, the hero, uh, the damage to the thing, but this still looks pretty good. He's out of cards, has no items. I defy the Bump the creep over there. Fucking cares. Just does more damage to his tower. Why the hell would he want to do that? Just wants to pass it back to me, I guess. So I could defend the weak here. Keeps him alive. He's gonna switch targets when I do that, but that's okay. Once he switch targets, I can teleport her out. I was gonna teleport him in, but I'm not sure that's actually that beneficial. Yeah, all 
right. I'm not giving him 10 gold. Our oh, modest right. fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Kill one of his heroes, don't lose our heroes. We get to redeploy that in a minute. Okay. It's a little bit awkward in this lane. Yeah, I guess I can deploy Heartstopper Auras over here, because it's a priority. I don't think priority is that relevant here. It's not like he's playing a bunch of like kill command style things. Assassin's Hood on the Bounty Hunter is pretty good. Top for a TP scroll for us. Armor's starting to be a thing over here. Go for six in armor, it doesn't even seem bad. Still, how do you beat that? Deploy. Got a creep top too. Missed our 50-50 unfortunately. Enchantress deployed into a location where she dies. Alright, Winter's Curse is interesting here. This is a disarm effect and can kill one of his heroes off the board. I was gonna Thunder Hide Alpha. I feel like he's gonna change his attack to kill the Winter Worm and get 10 bucks out of it. I don't want him doing that. So I'm probably gonna Winter's Curse the Bounty Hunter. Gets me 12 damage on tower, which is more than I get off the, uh, the Thunder Hide anyways. And then I guess we shield Enchantress for just a little bit of extra health. Doesn't this remove negative shit too? Nice. Courage opponent's negative, so I get six armor out of this. Points of damage. Where did he nasal glue? Bad. All right, sure. We're one off killing him. Feels kind of bad. Should have done some math. He's conceded. Nice. Four with this deck. <sighs> Alright, got chat. Two seconds, right back.
Right. Let's go see if we can get our first perfect of the day. Let's do it. Phantom Assassin, Phantom Assassin, Ursa. No, I don't think we're getting our uh, first. Our first. I don't know. Phantom Assassin is extremely strong. Okay. Dodged a bad matchup here, which is great. Bad matchup middle. Dodged a bad matchup bottom. That's pretty good. All right. Where do we try to take over here? No spells I can cast. So we'll do that. Can technically keep her alive. It's three health worth maybe trading with her. Means I don't get plus one, plus one, plus one across the board there. Mm, I don't think so. You're trespassing. I think we're just gonna let it die. Survive anything. All right, so starting to lane bottom. Need to figure out how we're gonna deal with top three. It's a heal. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just pass on it. He did pick up six from killing us middle. Abaddon's not actually bad to lane here either. Permanent reduction is not very fun, but okay. I do need to contest that lane. Keep going bottom. No creeps top, unfortunately. Can I see that before I deploy heroes? I can, right? Can't get the duelist out here. It's the only black spell I'm gonna make the uh, green spell though I can cast later. Well, that's a bitch. Just killed him. It didn't do anything for us. The turn before I get to inbone too. That sucks ass. So I reduce two damage and give it two more retaliate, but so what? Doesn't do anything. A StarCraft fan? Not really. No one will stand before me. Man, unfortunate. Can't get a can't get a foothold. To deploy uh, guys to if I kills all my guys every single time. We get two deployments next turn, giving him a million money already. Escape route's a good one. You have returned. Welcome back, Tennessee. Ooh, what's this button do? I don't know. You should keep clicking it though. See where it gets you in life. All right. Can summon a duelist. It's not terrible. Could shield this. Which means he'll probably teleport his hero out. He might do that anyways. No, I think we just uh, start getting some damage. Lycan, with you by my side. Condemn an improvement. All the answers. That's too bad. Had an answer top, had an answer bottom, had two good matchups now. I don't know, it seems like a pretty rough start for us. We gotta get some traction on the board. We haven't been able to do that. Creeps are going middle and bottom, but not top. Any hero I put in front of Ursa just dies again. Maybe it's time to try middle again.
arch stopper here. I'm going to enjoy. Relentless Pursuit's a great draw. It's a one mana escape option here. I can kill his PA bottom that he's planning on getting rid of too. I needed this. Actually, didn't need to shoot that. Could have shot the creep. Oh, he would have always play there, right? So, okay. Got to use my mana. Still got out of the lane. Pretty pleased about that. Coordinated Assault here actually does some stuff. I don't really want to trade the Worm for the Assassin, but maybe. It's our time now. Quitters never win. Good day to you, filthy. My Thank you, Dro. Welcome back. Low on cards is the only issue right now. Do I want to trade for this? We're going to get Coup de Grad next turn anyways. Probably? thing. I think if I play shield on this guy, he will just escape out. And I'm pretty sure I want this guy to die this round because I want to be three to play in middle in two rounds time. So I think I'm going to hit go here. Ready to kill. Still dies. Still fine with that. through that yet but we will be in a minute I guess they're able to play that which is a little bit unfortunate uh, town portal is good for us vestments is probably not that great for us with coup de gras but I wanted to look at what's beneath this no let's take the town portal would have been nice round of blink dagger there all right bad in this lane, two creeps, the middle is great. I want to get my heart stopper aura into the lane as soon as I can, too. Four damage to uh, uh, allies is really strong, or enemies, rather, of course. But adjacent neighbors is what the word I'm looking for. All right, we have a green guy bottom, so we can blessing from bot if need be. Hands not great, though. I guess I'm looking at Winter's Curse, but not this turn, I'm not. So, I guess our vestments are uh, our girl. I don't know if he's got a TP scroll as well. It's gonna be a very tanky Ursa. Gotta do another round up there. It's fine by me. Okay, got six here. I think I am gonna say all right. Ah, uh, no. Let's deploy this. Good. Oh, 
shall not get stabbed. I can keep going. That heal on cooldown. I don't think she's gonna live very long. Am I okay with that? A generous bestowal. Yeah, I can blessing from the bottom lane. I think I'm fine with this. Thank you, Barbaros. No more donation goal, what a shame. Ah. Put it up again at some point. Just trying it without, trying it with, trying it without. It's disappointing to see it never being filled with the magic players. <laughs> so, I don't know. Been staying away from it. All right, blessing into that lane seems reasonable. Maybe could have done it and kept something alive. I'm ready for anything. And then we're going to teleport out. This dude still kills it, so it should be fine. Anything else I want to cast before I go? We could drop uh, the discipline, but I don't think so. I think I want that available as an option. Okay. I will get to the Battle of Brothers at some point, guys. I don't know when yet. All right, Condemn an Improvement, Healing Self. Healing Self seems good here. I would like to have repeated power of gain, but I don't think that's how we're going to win. Let's go take the healing. Jesus. All right, well, I guess we're going to get Coup de Grade to death, but sure. Where's the deployment? Not great. We'll lose top. He will have initiative here, so I guess it's gonna be just opening coup de gras. Yeah. Stop for aura doing work. I don't know why you are is on the guy with hard stop for aura. Sure. It already did its work, so I'm totally okay with that exchange. He's out of mana here. Can we kill Keith? He's doing nine more damage through three armor. This is four. Nope. Fifteen seconds remaining. Disarm that, have it kill itself. But we're already gonna kill it there. Disarm that, have it die. It seems fine. Five seconds remaining. Three. I will deploy for damage to the tower here. Can get screwed. Which one is more of a screw? It'd be more of a screw to deploy to the left here. the arrow though it's good can live with this exchange this is fine need our heroes back link dagger is excellent right now and the cloak's pretty good too okay Game is hard. It's different. It's a different game, Miso. I like the game quite a lot. I think it could get repetitive, but we'll see. At the moment, it's very, very fun. I will water these lands. Mist. Mist isn't bad for us here. With the court of restore. Hello, oh, well, hello there. Yeah, I keep saying we'll get to it at some point. The problem is they released three games this week, right? Artifact came out, um, Battle Brothers came out, and uh, the BattleTech expand came out, or is about to come out one or the other. That's interesting. He might activate to take top. I get through bottom, especially with this shitty 
this stuff. This is not good. I'm gonna have to hit fire that creep. It's gonna be eight damage. 10, 12 damage. Alright, what do we have here? Wow! Stop with these shitty lane things. Oof. Still there to start. This will make a difference. Are you sure it's worth keeping her alive? Look at this. This empty one gets sucked into that. Empty one gets sucked into that. Both of these are being into that. This one's being pushed in. Like, all of my creeps rolled poorly. This is a 25%, oh, it's 50% chance to attack middle. 50% chance to middle. Failed to 50, failed to 50, failed to 50, failed to 50. Like, good god. It's four on this round alone. You'll be okay with me winning. <sighs> so we're gonna mist in here. To then we have to deploy it to top or you just coup the growls and wins. Survive the uh, top. Maybe we can do something here. Health, I guess, or a single card draw. He's gonna. He's not gonna kill me with health-based damage. Let's take a card draw. He's gonna kill me with just immediately remove my guys. Heartbreaker or should do six, right? Just don't deploy up against Ursa, and we're fine. Uh, so it kills, does it kill the Nevermore one? It does, I think. It's pretty fucking sick. It just killed three creatures, reduced his damage by a huge amount, and killed the one that gives the aura, all in upkeep. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 